With me in studio is Mike Wagenheim, our diplomatic correspondent, as well as Dima Taye, an Israeli Arab Muslim woman running for parliament with the Likud party. Thank you both for being with, with me. Mike, I want to start with you. The political reaction today to Netanyahu's big, dramatic, special speech that really was more about uh, compl familiar complaints about the election, the, the corruption probes. What reaction are we getting today? I think uh, most people uh, view this, especially on the left and the center, uh, that it wasn't so much a, uh, a national speech. It wasn't so much, even as you said at the top of the broadcast, a political speech. It was a very personal speech about personal problems that the uh, the prime minister is having uh, with the uh, investigators uh, dealing with this case, with the attorney general, with others involved with the case. We saw reaction coming from Labor Party leader, uh, uh, leader Avi Gabay who's having political problems of his own right now. Gabay uh, telling uh, fellow uh, party leaders on the left and on the center not to make any promises to uh, get involved with Netanyahu post-election. Let's give a listen to what uh, Avi Gabay had to say. Yair Lapid and Benny Gantz, you are good people who tonight saw Prime Minister Netanyahu wildly attack the law authorities. I say to you now, we must not be partners to this. Tonight, more than ever, it is time for you to announce that you will not be Netanyahu's partners. The state of Israel needs another path, a path of change. We need to return to being a normal country. Goodbye, referring there to uh, the leader of the centrist Yeshati party, Yair Lapid, and the uh, leader of the new I Israel Resilience Party, Benny Gantz, the former IDF chief of staff. Gantz also uh, made note of the speech in a tweet, as has been uh, Gantz's M.O. In the last few weeks, he kept it short and sweet. Hasn't said much yet, man. <laughs> hasn't said much and still hasn't said much, even in his tweeting in response uh, to Netanyahu's speech last night. All right, reaction, of course, trickling in from political leaders across the stripes. Uh, thank you, Mike, so much. Adima, I want to turn to you. Before we get to your background, I want to just ask you politically, you're running for Likud, the party that the prime minister is a member of. If he is indicted for a crime, if he's indicted for bribery or corruption, would you still support him or do you think he needs to step down? First of all, good evening for you and the who watch us. I believe that our Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu will find not guilty, and I believe with the justice to, uh, that will do uh, the job, and I believe that the uh, truth will uh, found, and I believe he will not be uh, uh, just guilty. I want to ask about your background. You are uh, would be the first Israeli. Muslim to serve in the Knesset with the Likud party or the first Arab Israeli Muslim to run for the Likud party. Why do you believe in the Likud party? So, yeah, it's the first time as a woman and, a, and as a Muslim uh, uh, who are going to have this st strong step and uh, uh, run for the Knesset on the Likud party. I'm proud of, of, the, of this party. It's so strong and it can have the a different culture, different religion inside, and uh, it's time for minorities, Arab minorities, to start uh, uh, have listened the voices, the good voice about Israel. But many and not Arabs just, say you know, that the Likud just, party yeah. doesn't support the Arab community, they don't support the Muslim community. One example, just one, might be the Jewish nation state law that Jewish settlement is a national value. Hebrew is the only language that is the official language. Israel is the nation of the Jewish people. How, how can you support the Likud party that believes that? So also I am not really with the Arabs uh, who are uh, in the Knesset. I'm not really with the ideas and the ideology that they are uh, doing much uh, bad things for the sector, the Arab sector. The uh, uh, Arabs Knesset in the members of the Knesset, Arabs inside the parliament, they are not doing nothing for the sector and they are not representing all the sector of the Arab Arabic sector. For example, I will uh, tell you something, the violence on the uh, a, a Arab sector is so high and the violence uh, um, against women is so high and they just voted on a law against putting or opening uh, police stations in the Arab sector. But there so are other parties, not, not Likud parties, there's other Arab majority parties that, that are fighting for social services for, you know, for Arab towns and Arab cities, but the Likud, as, as a party, they believe in a Jewish nation state law. They've promoted expanded West Bank settlements and you know that many Arabs many, many Arabs feel that they're second class citizens. The Prime Minister said Arabs are coming to the to the polls in droves the last time. There's this sense that the Likud doesn't want Arabs as part of their movement. That's not true. It's wrong. 
I'm as a woman and as a Muslim that running on the Likud, this is a big evidence that the Likud opened the doors for the minorities, for the Arabs to come and run and to be a good Arab in, and respect the country that the country respected uh, um, around. But what I'm, Are I'm, you bothered by the nation state law? Do you think that controversy is is not really a controversy? But what I wanted to say that I believe in our Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, that he is a good leader, a strong leader that can really lead this uh, 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 country with a good security, with a good economic, and he can really uh, build uh, a new generation for us. And I believe that our Prime Minister, he's the leader of the Likud, I believe in him. So because of that, I'm running this strong uh, uh, party. Are you getting threats for this as an Arab woman, as a Muslim? Are you getting threats? I've got yeah, bad comments and the threats from the Arab sector, unfortunately. But I'm not uh, really exciting of that. I'm no. continuing to do what is the best for my sector and my country that I really care and love for it. All right, good luck to you in your career. Dima Taye running for the Knesset with the Likud party would be the first Israeli Arab Muslim to earn that seat.